we know about the seven wonders of the world. What about seven wonders of our universe? Things we found out in the last 50 years or so. Welcome back to Professor Carlos Frank. Carlos, what's your first wonder? Well, I think uh, in chronological order, I think of the seven biggest discoveries of the last 50 years in extragalactic astronomy, I think the first one that comes to mind was the discovery of the quasars in the 1960. These are the most uh, powerful objects known in the universe, which we now understand are actually galaxies, probably in early stages of formation. And formerly thought they were just faint stars. We've said something about quasars. Now, quasars were totally unknown in 1957 when we started these programs. They were only identified after 1963. And quite honestly, we don't know even now just what they are. But if modern ideas are correct, then a quasar is immensely remote and superluminous. They are certainly the most baffling things known to astronomical science, and they illustrate, I think, how much astronomy has progressed over the last ten years, even though we don't yet know the answer to the problem of these quasars. It was only much later that uh, astronomers realized not only that they're galaxies, but that in fact they're being powered by these very enormous supermassive black holes. That's number one. Number two, I think I go for the cosmic microwave background. And I couldn't agree more with you, Patrick. I think the other big discovery in the 1960s, 1965, was indeed the discovery of the microwave background radiation, which we now know and knew then already is the heat left over from the Big Bang. First of all, what about the Big Bang? A very good question. What about it? Let's have a Big Bang for a start. Now, I must admit that the first 10 to the power minus 45 seconds are a bit uncertain as to what happened in that period. But after that, increasingly, we're getting a good handle on events and the theory is beginning to be rather well formed. And uh, this discovery gave us direct evidence that our universe was once very hot and very dense and that it had indeed begun with the Big Bang. And that leads on to wonder number three. I wonder if you would agree with me, Patrick, that uh, the third wonder must have been the uh, discovery of dark matter around <laughs> galaxies like yes. the Milky Way. You know, about the last thing I expected to find down here was a pool table. Um, why? Well, this is to illustrate how we detect the dark matter particles as they come into our detectors underground. And if we assume that the white ball represents one of the nuclei inside our detector and the red balls represent the WIMPs, represent the dark matter particles, it's like a random game of pool. These particles are flying past our detectors. Most of them just miss, but occasionally one will hit one of the nuclei in our detector and cause that nucleus to move. Yes, but what is dark matter? Ah, we do not know what dark matter is. It's one of these great mysteries. We know it's there, it's definitely there, and uh, it is responsible for the way galaxies behave, but we do not yet know what it is. This is one of the great big open questions in science. Right, what about number four? I think the 1980s was really a glorious period in theoretical cosmology, and in particular, uh, two key ideas were elaborated then. One was the idea of inflation. That idea has uh, shaped our contemporary thinking about cosmology. And in the 1980s as well, the, uh, what has now become established as the accepted model of the universe, the cold dark matter cosmology, was also developed during that, that decade. It's a decade when being a theorist was absolutely wonderful. Right, next. Number five was, of course, the discovery of small so-called yes. ripples in the microwave background radiation, which we now understand are the seeds from which galaxies were eventually to grow. And the other one, which is closely related, was the discovery in the mid and late 1990s of primeval galaxies, galaxies caught in the process of formation. What's new in the world of galaxies? Well, a lot of exciting results are happening, and nearly all of them are coming from the Hubble Space Telescope. Here's a montage of what those uh, very distant galaxies look like, Here's one with four subunits presumably coming together to form uh, a single object. And here's another one that's interacting, two units with, uh, with some extension. And clearly we're seeing evidence that these very early objects are forming for the first time and assembling themselves into larger structures. Yes, I would call that uh, this, uh, the wonder number six. Well, that leaves with one wonder. I know my candidate, he may not agree, but... I would go for dark energy. 
that is really truly a profound wonder and uh, and a mystery and a mystery and a mystery that uh, may take many many years to unravel well there are seven wonders now let's look forward shall we make some forecasts for the next 50 years there'll be seven wonders then of all the discoveries that may be made what's the one you would most like to know of all the likely and perhaps imminent discoveries i hope you will agree with me that the one that would transform our whole society and our whole civilization would be the discovery of life outside Earth. Extraterrestrial intelligence. Yes, ETI. I wonder. Well, we must wait and see. Carlos, thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking back at the sky at night over the past half century. It's certainly been an amazing period, and we've seen amazing things. And I wonder what's going to happen in the next half century. Well, time will tell. Good night.